So Soundpeats have made a name for themselves as a truly premium budget earphones brand that makes amazing sounding products at a fraction of the cost of other big brand names. With the successor of their true engine range of multi-driver earphones, Soundpeats have both the technical know-how and the design experience to make a fantastic pair of earbuds. Today we're taking a look at their latest iteration of a multi-driver earbuds and to see if they are any good. Welcome to a review of the Soundpeats True Engine 3 SD. Hello, my name is Sean and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of tech reviews as well as unboxing and if that is something that interests you, do consider subscribing to this channel, leave a thumbs up on this video as well as share this video to all your friends around. And with that said, let's get on with the review of the Soundpeats True Engine 3 SE. So Soundpeats is officially one of my favourite brands now and every time they launch new earbuds it just gets me super excited. And I believe many of you are excited to know how these earbuds perform as well so let's not waste any time and jump right into this review. Soundpeats have graciously sent me these earbuds for me to check out and I am extremely happy to be able to share my experiences with you. Although they have sent me these earbuds, I still will be providing my honest opinion so you know how these earbuds really sound like before you buy them. The Soundpeats True Engine 3 SE retails in Malaysia now for about 209 Malaysia Ringgit and that translates to about 64 US. So if you're interested in getting these earbuds, do check out some of my links in the description below and I will also link you to Soundpeats website below so you can read up more about these earbuds. So Soundpeats have always have a very standardized format across their range of earbuds and starting from the True Shift 2 that we looked at previously, they have started to adopt the cradle-like case with a battery indicator and high quality build over. Overall. So once we take out the case from the box, you immediately feel the overall build quality of the case is simply fantastic. And Soundpeats have gone with a nice soft rubberized plastic that gives the case an overall premium feeling to it. The entire case is very light, but doesn't give you the feeling that it's cheap. So at the top of the case, you see the Soundpeats branding in a very faint gloss black font, which gives the case an overall minimalist, stealthy outlook overall. Turning the case to the back, you'll see a USB-C charge port and a charging indicator there as well. So apart from that, there's nothing else too much about the outside of the case. So once we open up the lid, it is where you'll find the beautiful multi-driver earbuds sitting nice and snug inside the case and they're all held on by magnets. So what's new here is that you get a battery indicator LED to tell you the battery life of the case as well, whereas the original SE has it outside. So similar to the original True Engine SE, the body of the earbuds is made out of a rubberized plastic which is similar to the case itself and this time around Soundpeats puts a copper colored touch surface which also holds the Soundpeats logo up front. I personally think it's a nice color combination but I still prefer Soundpeats when with the stealthy look overall similar to the Soundpeats True Shift 2. All in all it's still a nice looking earbuds. Of course not many people will be a fan of this style of earbuds and Soundpeats molded their earbuds to look like IEMs and personally for me I love this style of earbuds and the benefit of that is that it sits very nice and snug inside my ears. So flipping the earbuds around this is where you can find the true beauty of this earbuds and the earbuds come with a dual dynamic driver which this time round soundpiece kind of change it up a little bit and included titanium plated drivers as well as a composite diaphragm driver to give these earbuds a hybrid sounding experience the benefits of having multi driver is that each driver can be tuned to focus on delivering separate sounding frequencies so one would excel in delivering deep bass and one would deliver crystal clear highs which personally I did not find on my original SE and 
I felt the original SD was a little bit too bassy and kind of melts everything else together. And another amazing thing that Soundpit did this time round was to also include a comply ear tips together in the box that gives you extra comfort, more isolation and also transform the sound signature into a slightly warmer tone. So ultimately the earbuds would give you a total of 6 hours of continuous playback time but together with the case you'll push that up to 30 hours of total playback time. And that is about 5 full charge cycles and the case and the earbuds charges up in a mere 2 hours. Definitely not the fastest charging speed out there. Overall I think the design and build quality of the Soundpiece True Engine 3 SE is really quite impressive. In terms of the different features that these earbuds provide, these earbuds offer you the best features available currently for maximum enjoyment. The True Engine 3 SE comes with Soundpiece's favorite chipset which is the Qualcomm QCC3020 chip that runs latest Bluetooth 5.0 which also gives you support for AppTax and SBC audio playback. So this gives you the best possible audio latency, connectivity as well as the best audio quality you can expect in today's true wireless earbuds. These earbuds also offers you a decent IPX5 water resistant rating that gives you decent protection from water. IPX5 means the earbud should be able to withstand regular sweating, water splashing and even getting caught under the rain. So let's get to the interesting part of these earbuds which is the sound quality. The sound quality of the True Engine 3 SE is very different from the ones you get from the original SE. These earphones sound quite exceptional in my books and for the first time that I play these earbuds it really puts a smile on my face. And what Soundpiece did differently this time is to include two different types of driver, one titanium plated driver and one composite diaphragm driver which gives the earbuds a very wide sound stage delivering very deep bass and fantastic meets and highs. Where the original SE lacks in giving you a more separated experience, the new True Engine 3 SE more than makes up for it. The overall sound stage of the earbuds is surprisingly wide and separates instruments and sound very well. It gives you a very open and airy feeling when listening to these earbuds and is definitely very good for enjoying some music. Coupling it with the comply foam tips that Soundpiece provide adds additional isolation to your environment and slightly warms up the sound signature of these earbuds. I'm really glad that they included it out of the box and I recommend everyone changing into these tips once you get them. And overall, if you want a nice sounding, awesome performing earbuds, then this is definitely the earbuds for you. In terms of the call quality, the True Engine 3 SE is just okay and I wish that it did a little bit better. Soundpiece market this as having quad mics, so two mics on each side of the earbuds to give you better environment isolation when making phone calls. For my testing, these earbuds perform well in quiet places but doesn't seem to cut out ambient noise too well in noisy environments. Your voice still gets through okay, however you also get a lot of environmental noise so it might make it harder for other people to hear you. The overall call quality sounds a little bit muffled so in most situations your sound will sound a little bit like you're very far away from the mic. So anyways, let's take a listen to the call quality test of these earbuds. So this is a test to see whether or not the Soundpeeps True Engine 3 SE is a good earphone for making phone calls. So this is me speaking with no environmental noise around. So this is how clear the, uh, the earbuds actually sound like. And what I'm going to do now is play a simulated background noise so you can hear the difference. So now I have a simulated background noise playing in the background. So this is the call quality that you can expect if you're using it in a noisy environment. So again, this is the sound quality test of the Soundpeeps 2 Engine 3 SE. With Bluetooth 5.0 and AppTax codec support, there's really no issue with latency when watching videos on YouTube or Netflix. However, playing games like PUBG, it does have a very obvious delay. It's okay if you use it for casual gaming, but if you're looking for anything more serious or competitive, I would suggest not getting these for gaming. Anyway, let's take a look at the latency performance of these earbuds. So this is a test to see whether or not these earphones actually have a latency problem. So what I'm going to do now is clap into the microphone and you should be able to tell. So here we go. And if you see the hands not synchronized with the sound, then you will know that these earphones actually have a latency problem.
I think that Soundpeach should be the gold standard for controls on true wireless earbuds and the True Engine 3 SE lets you control all of the media controls as well as volume controls. So single tapping on either side of the uh, left or right earbuds will increase or decrease the volume. So as you press on it, you will hear the volume slowly increase uh, or decrease and that doesn't affect your phone's volume so you can still go higher on your phone itself. So double tapping on the left or right earbuds allow you to play or pause media as well as pick up phone calls. So there you go. Play on pause and to skip forwards or backwards simply press and hold the right or left buttons for about one second so press skip forward and press skip backwards so triple tapping on either side of the earbuds would bring out your assistant so triple tap those are all the controls that you get with the true engine 3 se Overall, I am really happy with this iteration of the True Engine 3 SE and I love how they've updated the sound profile and basically made it an even better earbuds for now. So if you're holding off buying the original SE, it's probably time now to get the new True Engine 3 SE. So that is it for this review and if you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere and if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.